Hi, welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy from LotusNotebook.com. Episode 007, A License to Type Ahead, or U versus the 64K limit. Okay, quick disclaimer, uh, because I'm still using the beta code, uh, that there's no guarantees from IBM that any of the functionality presented or discussed will be in the final shipping product, which is due in about four days. Okay, first, a word from our sponsor. Sponsor? It's a nine-minute show. I can't have a sponsor. I really should have thought of that when I came up with the concept. Uh, but I did want to talk about the Notes and 9 live version. Okay, it's not really Notes and 9. It's actually going to be a webinar uh, that I'm going to do for Lotus Education Online. LEonline.net. Uh, they wanted to see if I could talk longer than nine minutes, and uh, I said I probably could. Um, it's going to be called X Pages. Notes Development Meets Web 2.0. We're going to run it on October 15th, 12 noon, Eastern Standard Time, which is a Thursday. And again, on October 21st at 8 p.m., which Eastern Standard Time, which is a Wednesday. Uh, if there's any good feedback, uh, these might repeat in November and December. Uh, so we'll see how it goes, I guess. Okay, X Pages and Ajax. Uh, we're going to talk about type ahead and what is type ahead it's you know you have an edit box you start typing and suggestions start appearing you know, usually below it uh, of, of possible values you can use it's really a simple Ajax call and X pages do make it easy to get into uh, Ajax for this kind of look and feel for for your website we're going to use an at DB column which really should be no surprise to a client developer when you want to do a look up into a view uh, and it's a single column without a key you use at DB column and it's going to look very similar to the way it looks in the client. At DB column, and that's database name, which is going to be at DB name. Uh, we're using commas instead of semicolons because it is X pages and we're not truly in Lotus Script, though it does look like a formula language actually here. Um, it's going to be, we're going to add the view name in quotes and the column number, uh, which is the number one here. Okay, but we do have a problem and we have to watch out for. Uh, and that's called the 64k limitation. Uh, at dbcom has always had this 64k limitation, uh, so we have to deal with it. It's just like Superman who always has to deal with that darn uh, kryptonite problem. Okay, um, we're going to use at db lookup to get around this 64k limit because at db lookup has the ability to do what's called a partial match, so we can take the first key or two that the the user types in. Uh, the, the, from the keyboard and use that as the lookup key uh, for the view that we want to go into. Uh, we do have to pay very careful attention to full mode versus partial mode. Trust me, if you don't get it right, it's a very painful experience trying to figure this out. Uh, and I do want to say a special thanks to Mark Hughes at dominoextnd.blogspot.com who wrote the original blog post on the 64k limit that I saw and learn how to use and then for a couple of great IBMers Paul Hannon and uh, I believe it's pronounced Mori Kehoe uh, they were both at Lowe's Fair last year and were excellent speakers and they they helped me figure out what was going on with the problem I was having between the full and partial mode okay so now let's go on with the demo okay so let's check this out this is a, a demo I got from Mori from IBM uh, and it really explains uh, partial versus full mode uh, very well. Here we've got a type ahead field with partial mode and a type ahead field with full mode. And we're going to populate uh, some random numbers in field one and field two. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to come here in the type ahead and we'll do AB. And notice how it says field one is null and field two is null. Because even though we updated these values here with this random button, which does not do a submit, the type ahead using partial mode only it refresh it's optimized it only refreshes the current field that it's in so we can get the the value that of the field we're in but we're not getting any other updated values that's on the page if we come down here and do a type ahead again we've got the current field value but now this did this since it's full mode it did kind of refresh every value that's on the page if we come back to the partial mode we can see that because now we're getting the values from the random numbers. So again, partial mode is optimized uh, to just give us the most current value from this current field. And type ahead, refresh that, and type ahead is optimized, or not optimized, but type ahead will give you the current value from any 
uh, the full mode will give you the current value from any field on the page. And again, this is going to be updated because of the full mode firing here. And we do a random, and we do another field, and or another update, and it's not updated. So partial versus full. So let's see where that looks as that's set. Here's the, the page. Here's the partial mode. And it's just a drop down right here, partial and full. Okay, so let's look at DB column. The back end of this database here has 50,000 names in it. I've got a field for DB column against the whole view, DB column against a portion of the view, and a, a DB lookup. So let's look at this. If we do BA, for uh, BA Baracus maybe, um, we've got nothing because it's going up against the 64K limitation of DB column and it's breaking it. If we come down here to a subset of the view, of just the people in a particular state, it comes right up. And we only really need one. Key press for that. So again, that works. Now, how do you get to the, the full view? Is by using a DB lookup. And if we do the BA, and it takes a second because of the names, but it's now we have access to to all of them. Now notice here that it needs two characters for it to fire. And that's just a little extra precaution to help, you know, make it work. So let's see how that works. And this I learned uh, from Mark Hughes' site. So he had a great blog posting that explained this exactly. So we look at the, the at dbcom for the full view. Very simple formula. At db column, at db name, view name, column. For the small view, I'm going to exactly the same thing. It's just a, a different view, which has the subset in. And the DB lookup, which is the interesting one here, we're going to do an at DB lookup, at DB name, the full view name again. Now we're going to do get component, and then the name of the edit box, which is input text 3 here, which was the default name, a get value to get that value, the column number 1, and then the key here is partial match. We turn that on. I believe that is in the, in the documentation. And then we also set minimum characters to be two. So uh, there's very low chance of getting the, hit by the 64K limit here. And that's our demo. Uh, thanks for watching that. Uh, if you have any questions or you need to contact me, here's my uh, contact information. Uh, dleady at lowestnotebook.com. I'm on Twitter, and I thank you for your attention.